to our next project, which is the cell phone holder. Okay, so as you can see here, we're going to learn techniques like quilt as you go. We're going to talk about a grommet and we're going to learn about finger pressing. Okay, so we are going to just go ahead and get started. So in your kit, you're going to have um, three different pieces of fabric that are six by six. You're going to have one grommet. You're also going to have a piece of blue polka dot fabric and then a piece of batting. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to set these aside. And we're going to take these six by six inch pieces and we're going to cut them what we call subcut is into two by six inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler. The lines on my ruler are an inch apart. So I'm going to go one, two, line up that line along with the edge of my fabric. I'm going to line the line that comes across this way with the edge of the, the bottom edge. And here we go. We're going to practice doing our rotary cutting skills. So we're going to go ahead and cut that, lift up our ruler. We're going to cut another piece at two inches. Okay. And this is two inches as well. So I'm not going to go ahead and cut that one. So we cut for you a six inch piece, but then we're sub cutting it into smaller pieces. And we did three two inch by six inch pieces. So go ahead and do that for all three of your squares. Okay, and remember to put your rotary blade into its locked and secure position, okay? So now that we have all of these pieces cut, go ahead and grab your batting piece, okay? We're gonna lay it open like this, and we're gonna do what we call quilt as you go. Okay, so go ahead and just pick one of the one of the fabrics. So I'll do this. And I'm going to place my first fabric right side up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pin this to my batting. To hold it in place. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our second piece of fabric and we're going to place it right sides together. So there's the pretty side, the wrong side. We're going to place right sides together and we're going to line this up along that edge. Okay. And you can go ahead and pin this one in place. All right, so we're gonna go to our sewing machine and we're gonna stitch a quarter inch line right along this edge, okay? So we'll go to our sewing machine, sew a quarter inch, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut our threads. We'll come back to our workstation. Make sure you pull out those pins. Okay. So now this is what we call quilt as you go. I am going to flip this open and finger press. You could iron this if you'd like to, but I think finger pressing is just much easier and um, and faster too. So there we go. There's our second piece. Now let's go ahead and we're going to do the exact same thing like we did before and place our third piece of fabric right side down, lining it up against that edge. So here we go, right side down, line it up on that edge. I'm going to pin through all the layers. 
And we're gonna do that same exact step as before. We're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance, okay? A quarter inch away from the edge of the fabric to sew the pieces together, okay? Okay, let's go back to our workstation, remove that pin, and we're going to flip this up and finger press. Now look at that, isn't that so cool? We're doing what we call quilt as you go. So go ahead, repeat this for the remaining um, pieces of fabric that you have all the way until you get up to here, and then we'll move on to the next part. All right, so we have finished doing the quilt as you go method here. So now we're going to add the back of our phone holder and then add our grommet. So we're gonna go ahead and set this to the side for right now. Go ahead and grab your um, blue polka dot fabric. And we need to cut this to measure six by 14, okay? So I'm going to cut this six inches right here, and then I see 14 here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line up my ruler along to match the six inch mark, okay? And then we're gonna take our rotary cutter and just cut all the way across. Take it slow. There's no rush. Okay, now I have the six inches here, but now I need to cut 14. So I'm going to turn this around this way because it's not very easy to cut this way. It's best to always cut in this direction away from your body, okay? So we're gonna cut a piece 16 by 14. So here's the 14. Line that up. And again, make sure your blade is in its locked position, okay? All right, so now that we have this cut, we're gonna take our, our quilted front piece and we're going to place this piece right sides together, okay? And it may be a little bigger, the batting and the um, pieced, fabrics might be a little bigger and that's okay. And what we're going to do is we're gonna pin around all four sides and we're gonna leave an opening about two to three inches, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that just with a pencil. I'm gonna leave an opening so we can turn it right side out. Okay, so go ahead and pin all the layers together with right sides together. Okay, now that we have that all pinned, we're gonna go to our sewing machine. We're gonna start at one of the points that we marked. We're gonna stitch forward, then do a back stitch, and then sew all the way around and stop at that second point that we marked. Okay, and then we'll do a back stitch and then back again. Okay, so we wanna leave that opening because we need to turn this project right side out. So we'll go to our machine, start at that mark, and go forward a few inches or a few stitches and then we're gonna back stitch. This is gonna reinforce it so when we turn it right side out, it doesn't pull our, our stitches out. Okay, we're gonna do what we call pivoting. You're gonna put your needle in the down position, lift up your presser foot, and turn your project. It's a great way to get around corners and 
uh, and not have to cut your threads every time. So we're gonna put our needle in the down position, lift up our presser foot and pivot. Make sure to stop and pull out any pins along the way. Okay, I'm stopping at that mark. I'm gonna go ahead and do a back stitch. And then forward a few stitches. And we're gonna pull our project out of the machine. Okay, so now we'll go over to our workstation and what we're going to do is we're gonna turn this right side out. So go ahead and flip your project through. And we're gonna poke out the corners. You can use a pencil, um, a chopstick, <laughs> but make sure you don't um, do it too hard or else it's gonna poke through the fabric and leave a hole, okay? Okay. And as I wrote in the instructions, you can clip the corners right here. You can clip the corners if you want to help reduce bulk, okay? But it's up to you. All right, so let's take this to our ironing station and give this a good press. Okay, so you're probably wondering how we're going to close the opening and what we're gonna do is you're gonna just fold it in ever so slightly, about just to have it line up with the rest of the project. Fold those raw edges in, and then just take your iron and give it a press just to hold it in place. Okay. At this time, you can go ahead and go to your machine and close that opening. I am just gonna place my needle right along the, just barely inside the edge, just to close it up, okay? All right. Now, we are going to make it into a little pocket. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this over so that the polka dot fabric is right side up. And we're gonna fold this up to about, about right there, about two thirds of the way, okay? You want to leave enough room for your grommet. So if you want a visual, you can place your grommet there and there we go. At this time, you can go ahead and pin all the layers together. It's gonna to be thick, so just take it nice and slow. Okay, and we'll do that on the other side. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our sewing machine and we're going to top stitch on either side. As you can see here, we just did a, a top stitch just to hold it in place. And that's what's gonna help us create our pocket. Okay, so let's go to our machine and sew down both sides. Okay. 
All right, so now we're going to attach the grommet, okay? So what you're going to do is you're gonna grab one of the grommet pieces, you're gonna center it on your project, and you're just gonna take a pencil and I want you to draw on the inside circle, okay? Go around a few times, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to measure out a quarter inch. You can just kind of eyeball it. Okay, so quarter inch out. And you're gonna draw a second circle. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this circle. And the easiest way I have found to cut all through the fabric is I'm gonna fold this in half just where my uh, where I drew okay and I'm just gonna cut right there I know it's a little scary <laughs> cutting into a project but trust me all right so we created this little slit and now we're just going to cut all the way to that outer circle okay and carefully trim that away You're definitely going to want a sharp pair of scissors for this. Okay. Now, probably the easiest part of this project, we're going to snap on the grommet. Okay, so we're going to place one on the bottom, one on top, and what we're going to do is just Snap them together. Okay. You have to press really tight. There we go. And they just snap together. Look at you. You just made a project with a grommet. Can you believe that? So what you're going to do when you go to use this is you'll put this by an outlet where you plug your phone normally, you'll put the charger right through the hole right here, and then you can let your phone be in the pocket. How cool is that? So I hope you had as much fun making this with me as I did with you, and I can't wait to see what your phone holder looks like.